Breaking news, Nigerians. This is getting tougher. Heavy security at Emir Bayaro's residence as Kanu government mobilized Budezas. Nigerians, this is getting tougher. It's actually taking another dimension. There is heavy security presence around the Nasarawa Palace, the official residence of the deposed 15th Emir of Kano, Aminu Adubayaro. Politics Nigeria earlier reported that the Kano state government had ordered the eviction of the deposed traditional ruler. Addressing journalists on Thursday evening, the Attorney General and the Commissioner of Justice in Kano State, Haruna, said Bayaru should be evicted because all is set for the reconstruction and renovation of the of the property. In a video seen by our reporter on Friday morning, security personnel have blocked all entrance to the palace, which is owned by the Kanu state government. The move, the politics Nigeria understand, is to prevent talks from interfering with the planned demolition of the Nasarwa, you know, uh, palace. In a separate video seen by our correspondent, a Buddha and Elevator, we are seen headed to the palace. Record that the Federal High Court in Kano had nullified the removal of Emir Bayaru and others by the state government. However, the Kano state government has insisted that Emir Sanusi will remain the Emir of Kano state. Nigerians, now they see what Allah so. <laughs> in fact, what is happening in Kano State is really very confusing. I don't know. This is a big confusion you get. I don't just understand. When I say this, our judiciary, eh? <laughs> as then they complicate themselves, they go. Hmm? As then they complicate themselves, they go. Now, so then they set this country ablaze. They don't finish this Nigeria. Our judiciary has finished Nigeria. You get. Person not even know where they, they stand. The worst part of it is that if the Federal High Court in Lagos State give judgment, the same matter. The Federal High Court in uh, uh, Abuja will give different judgment in the same issue. So these people, they are the real threats we are facing. Well, we see how this will end because this is not going to be, you know, a very easy dance. The drummers, they are already there. They are beating their drums. Honestly speaking, politicians want to turn Kano State to something else. So you get, they won't cause confusion in Kano State. Anyway, the Kano State government has directed the state police command to remove the deposed emir of Kano, Amino Bayaru, from the royal Residents, according to the order, the action would pull, we paved, we paved the way for an extensive reconstruction and renovation project, which includes the demolition and rebuilding of the palace, the habilitated war fence. The governor gave the directive on Thursday night at a press conference through the state attorney general and the commission of justice, Aruna the diary and stated that the abolishment of the five emirates created in 19 in 2019 is validated the diary said i want to congratulate and call on the good canal the good people of canal state to remain peaceful and celebrate the success of the people without any a uh, hedge may hala Okay, continue to protect our states and our government. You will recall that at our last press briefing, we had informed you that we would keep you posted relating to any further development in respect of our Emirates cases. Today, 20th of June, 2024, the Federal High Court number one canal had passed its ruling in respect of the case 
before it. I have the honor on behalf of His Excellency Governor Abba K. Okay, uh, a Yusuf and the Canon State Government to address you once again over the lingering litigation arising from the abolishing of the five emirates and disposition of the former emirs, including the deposed emir of eight metropolitan metropolitan local government. The Kano State Government acknowledged the ruling by the Federal High Court regarding the Kano Emirates Council Repeal Law 2024 and Review Same as upholding the rule of law, AGF explained. He said by the ruling of the court, it had reaffirmed the validity of the law passed by Kano State House of Assembly and asserted to by His Excellency, the Executive Governor of Kanu State, on Thursday, 23rd May 2024, by 5 10 p.m. According to him, this part of the judgment is very fundamental to the entire matter. Further implication of the ruling is that all actions done by the government before the emergence of the interim order of the Honorable Courts are equally validated. So this means that the abolition of the five emirates created in 2019 is validated and the deposition of the five emirs is also uh, sustained by the Federal High Court. By implication, this means that Muhammad Sanusi II remains the emir of Kano. The judge also granted our application for the stay of proceedings until the Court of Appeal deals with the appeal before it on jurisdiction. Happily, the signing of the law and the restatement of His Highness Emir Muhammad Sanusi II was done on the 23rd May 2024 before the emergence of the interim order, which was served on us on Monday, 27 May 2024. Following these court rulings, Kanu State Government has directed the State Commission of Police to remove the deposed emir and the eight metropolitan local government from the government property, where arrangements have been concluded for the general reconstruction and renovation of the property, including the demolition and reconciliation, reconstruction, I meant to say, of the dilated well, war fence and immediate effects. Okay. I want to congratulate and call on the good people of Kano State to remain peaceful and celebrate the success of the people without any hitch. May Allah continue to protect our state and our government, he added. So guys, words to take on this, kindly drop your comments below the comment section. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Share this video, let it go viral. Thank you. And bye for now.